Hey, what's up everybody? This is Titan, Titans of CNC, and I'm here with my boy Jeff. What's up, Jeff? What's up, guys? Oh, uh, so check this out. We're in front of the Makino Horizontal. It's the A81NX. Oh, uh, it is a beast. So we're talking 60 horsepower, a big old spindle, and the pallets are 630 millimeter. So to give you some scope, check this out. This is the Hydra Force from Kenna Metal, and that's the Core 5 the famous end mill. It's a half inch end mill in the Hydra Force from Kenna Metal. And it's an insane combo. And you see me run this tool on the DMG Mori DMU 50 at 1600 inches a minute, killing it. Boom, HSK 63, there you go. Now check this out, for scale. Go ahead and give me the HSK 100. Oh man, look at that. It's like, it's like the mini me. Look at that. So, so machinists out there, I just want to like show you. Not, not everybody's seen an HSK 100, so I wanted to show you the difference. So the HSK 63, similar in size to a 40 taper, that's your guy. But check out the difference. So this is a half inch core five. That's a one inch beast of a core five in a Hydra Force HSK 100. Look at that. Ugh. Instantly, you already know that if we were blowing mines with this tool, you know, with that big old spindle in there, we're gonna absolutely murder chips with this one right here. Check it out. Check out the bottom. Check out the connection. Oh, it's so good. Boom. Oh man, so check this out. Since it's been a couple days since our last video, the Makino technicians have been hard at work making everything come together and this baby is ready to go now. So I figured I'd give you guys a little status update. Show you some cool things about the machine that we've already learned in the past few days, all right? So let's go around the machine where the ATC cover is now in place. I'm gonna show you how to load a tool. Then we're gonna bring the tool back inside of here. We're gonna show you the coolant, the Synergy 735. We're gonna blast it, and then just show you some different bells and whistles on this machine. Give you a behind the scenes look at all that has happened. Boom, come on. All right, so, oh, we got the pallets installed. Check it out. So this is pallet number two. You got pallet number one on the inside and Shunk is actually delivering some custom tombstones that are actually gonna go onto these pallets. It's gonna be an insane setup, just complete rigidity. It's gonna allow us to hold some big old pieces of material, titanium and inconel, and we're gonna get after it. So next week, the first tombstone is arriving. I can't wait. Jeff, he's learned a lot, so let's check this out. Hey Jeff, can you actually show them how to put a tool into the machine? Absolutely. Awesome. guys, now that we've got the tool loaded, we have to call up the tool. It's in pot 52. So I'm gonna go to MDI mode, type in my code here, T52, end of block, hit the input button, and now it's ready to go, cycle start, and you'll hear in the background the carousel is turning to bring it into position. Now that we're there, we can do a tool change. So I'm gonna go still in MDI mode, and enter my code, M6, end of block, input, and then cycle start. And now we're gonna bring the tool to the front so you can see it by pressing this button here, and cycle start. Now I'm gonna show you how to manually jog it. Quick and easy way, there's other ways, but we go to manual mode here. Select your axis you would like to jog, we'll go Y. Just gonna go ahead and bring that tool up. And then we'll just go ahead and push this plus button to bring the spindle on up. 
All right, so now I'm going to go over some of the coolant features. Uh, we are using the Synergy 735 from Blazer. All right, so we just come up here to this drop down button. Go to your functions button. Come down to chips disposal. And now it gives you all your coolant options. And we are going to start with the through spindle coolant. All right, so we are currently set up for 300 PSI of through spindle coolant, but we have our chip blaster being hooked up currently, and it's gonna provide us with 8,000 PSI. So for now, let's go ahead and check out that through spindle coolant. All right, so that's the through spindle coolant, and we have four other uh, coolant options that we can use. So we have our nozzle coolant, our through spindle coolant, our overhead coolant, our base coolant, which includes our terrace cleaning coolant. Boom, Jeff, making it happen. Oh, this thing's like a house right here. So check this out. Got the plaster coolant. Oh. Now this is a coolant tank on steroids. It's like a beast. The thing drops in. So the coolant runs underneath the machine and the chips actually come through the center and go through the conveyor and drop out on the other side over here. You got the Synergy 735 right there. Look at that, mixing nice. But I'm not gonna drink it today, but I'll tell you this, we're running it on a high level. So usually on aluminum, we run it at about seven, all right? On titanium, we run it at about 10. But on this machine, since we're gonna take some monstrous cuts, we're actually running this at 12%. This coolant is amazing. It's a synthetic, but it is a special synthetic like you've never seen before. Blazer came out and completely changed the game. This synthetic does not hurt your machine, doesn't hurt your seals, nothing. It's like water. It doesn't give you rashes. There's no bacteria. And you can pretty much cut anything. Boom, and that's why I love it. So I already said it was on steroids, right? But this coolant tank, I mean, you can just look at it. And I believe, hey Jason, you got a minute? Yeah, sure. You guys remember our great service tech from Makino making it happen day after day, working crazy hours. Jason, the man, the myth, the legend. <laughs> <We're> back. <laughs> He's back. He's back. He hasn't left. This guy's been here every single day. So this actually is a filter for the coolant and it's all contained. Yes, sir, absolutely. We got a cyclonic filter here that's gonna bring you down to 25 microns. It's just gonna keep that coolant correct, you know, it's balanced and keep all that scum out of there. So we just got a, a separate disposal tank here. It just thoroughly cleans it. So when you're running like through the spindle coolant, whatever, nothing's getting trapped, all the debris is gone. Correct. And then check this out. You guys just saw 300 PSI, but right here we have our chip blaster and Jason you're hooking this up right now right yes sir we got a mechanical portion of this whole thing is uh, about complete uh, we just got a little bit of wiring left so we're gonna be able to provide you with a thousand psi at 10 plus gallons per minute right out of the tube oh man Monday it's going down thank you brother thank you oh so check this out let's go this way all right and over here I got Dan Another service technician from Makino. How we Actually, you do a lot of things in the office. Like you solve some awesome problems and things, and you came out and graced yes, us with your presence here in California. Sure did. So good, man. You're actually putting some software in, like a new like kind of computer into yes, the system. Yep. And when, what's that gonna do? Yeah, so we're adding in our MH Max system. So we're adding a uh, bunch of different sensors into the machine, temperature probes, pressure sensors, load meters, and we're gonna help do predictive analysis for the maintenance of the machine. So you know how your spindle health is doing, how your hydraulic system is running, that coolant system, making sure you're getting proper flow and temperatures. We're gonna monitor all that, that way we can inform you guys if there's any maintenance issues you need to be taken care of before you got any downtime. Boom, I told you the Makino technology is off the hook right now. I've been in machines for a long time. I've ran a million different machines, but I'm telling you, I'm the student now. I'm learning all of these different technologies that I've never used. So I'm excited because we're gonna, we're gonna learn them, we're gonna use them, and then we're gonna go to what I do know best, and that's getting after it, cutting some chips, and next week, we got our tombstones coming in. Oh, we're gonna make it happen. Well, thank you so much, man. Yeah. I really appreciate it. No problem. I mean, it's crazy, right? You see this machine, it is crazy, and I'm humbled having it behind me. 
That spindle right there is a beast, it's crazy, and we're gonna do some amazing things with it. Now, some people might look and they might say like, well, Titan, why are you using such a big machine for education? And this is what I'll tell you. We have the greatest trade in the history of the world. It's the reason that we're able to drive places, to fly places. Manufacturing is what builds all of it. When we see our kids going out for sports in grade school, they can actually look up to high school. They can look up to the collegiate level and they can look up to Olympic athletes and they can have a vision that if they work hard, if they rise up the ranks and the levels, they can achieve greatness. And yet in our industry, our kids see closed doors because all of these great companies won't show their products because of intellectual property theft. So nobody sees the rockets and the submarines and, and everything in between being made. When you see kids looking at Olympic athletes, kids that look to the trade have no heroes. They don't see, they don't see it on a massive scale. And that's not right because we need to bring awareness and get them excited about this trade. And that's what we're about. Teaching from the bottom, giving them the skills and teaching on every single level throughout, even on the biggest level and showing them that if you dedicate yourself and you put the work in and you rise up through the levels, not only can you support yourself, your family and buy a house, you can run a machine like this and you can solve big problems and you can help mankind not only get to the moon, but get to Mars. We're building interplanetary ships that are taking us there. We're making autonomous cars and all of it has to be machined by skilled workers who are incredibly efficient. Greatest trade in the world, we're fighting for it. That's why we're taking education education to the highest level. Check out the Titans of CNC Academy. Check out the Titans of CNC Academy for free curriculum and watch next year as the Aerospace Academy drops, teaching the best in the business how to take their skills to the highest level.